And I'm trying to be patient and address you, but what you're doing is you're kind of hooking, looping, baiting me in when I ask you a simple question. If you want to tour the jail and you want to film some parts of it, I'm sure that can be arranged in certain ways. We don't have anything to hide from you. But the problem is, is you're trying to bait me into answering a question that you can't answer yourself. Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. What would happen? Well, uh, I should back up. Uh, uh, would uh, how, how would I go about uh, monitoring on camera living conditions in your detention facilities and jails? Um, we, in general, don't allow cameras into our facility unless it is um, because they do have privacy rights um, inside the facility. As far as um, you know, you can anybody can request to have a tour of the jail to go through and see what the facility looks like. Um, clearly it's escorted, but in general, um, other than media, we don't allow any kind of cameras or video inside uh, the facility. I'm media. Okay, who do you work for? It's FridleyReport.com, and I work for me. Ultimately, I work for you. If you ever get in trouble with the government, I'll be sticking up for you too. But the question, uh, next question would be, what happened, What would happen if I, um, oh, I mean, I will if I can't. <laughs> but uh, what would happen if I uh, were to just uh, walk over to the facility and show up at the front door and ask to film? And ask to film? Mm -hmm. um, well, they would ask clearly who you are. Um, they'd ask for some kind of identification. Um, it's, it is more difficult for somebody to just show up and, and request to have a tour and to be able to do that. We really have to schedule it because there's so many different programs and things that go on during the day that um, we do request some time to be able to schedule that and have people come in. Um, I don't know that we really have anybody that just shows up and says, I need to have a tour right now. Um, it's probably but, never been done before. But we, we do try to accommodate it as best we can. But a, a tour with an appointment can be arranged. Yeah. But uh, what does that do to the importance of being able to make a surprise visit and choose which areas I view? Um, I mean, we, well, I paid for it. Well, clearly, for safety and security reasons, you don't get to choose which areas you get to view. So um, isn't that, doesn't that make it possible for you to, for all kinds of bad things to happen there without the public ever being able to see it? Okay. No. No. Any of those videos inside the facility can be subpoenaed if mm -hmm. necessary. Uh, there's cameras all over the facility. They record everything 24 hours a day. The thing that, it's, it's kind of silly that you're asking that question because if you know that it's a security issue, there's certain things that we wouldn't want you to put on film so that certain people that aren't necessarily bad people or do-gooders could could then supervent those security issues. So it's kind of hard, because answer your own question. If, if you wanted to come in and film everything when it is a secure area, that we don't want certain people that have ill intention to be able to manipulate those security issues, how would you protect that? I don't know. I'm just asking. You're the one that's getting paid, well, not me. No, I'm not. <laughs> I get paid to do training. Right now, yeah. I'm not talking to you. So you have a social platform, and that's fine, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to entertain that, but it's kind of that, that question seems silly to me. The important it's thing. the same thing with the courthouse. It's the same place where there's security, where we don't want people to bring guns in. We don't want some of these violent criminals to escape. We're not going to actually let every security measure be filmed. If you're worried about unruly conditions or assaults or anything like that, you can see that those get subpoenaed, and they can be used when that happens. But most of the time, the, the cameras are protected to, to any detainees or inmates just as they are to protect the deputies in the facility. The important thing is that you're transparent to some extent in terms of answering my questions, and oh, I appreciate I'm that. No, I don't have the answers because I'm not the market. I'm just one guy. Sure, but the you're, you're market looking market. To, you should provide a suggestion of that question. Okay, like yeah, I mean, if a, go, if a government person wants a suggestion from me, I really should probably give it. So, yeah, uh, I guess one, one uh, question would be, uh, first of all, whether, whether you're even... Hold on a second. I okay. answer the first Okay, question. I should, answer, I should yeah. answer the question. Go ahead and ask it again if you wish. Oh, I was just saying, how would you pr keep a place safe and secure? And, and you want to go in and have unlimited access to film. I get that. I understand. Yeah. That. But at the same time, there are certain security measures that we don't necessarily want out to the public that keep you safe also. If I wanted how something... Would we, how would we protect that? For starters, if I wanted something safe, I wouldn't put it in, in, in the hands of the government. Certainly not a government okay. that can tax its way to... I can see your platform there, yeah. but unfortunately that's where the jail exists. So let's, talk, let's just talk realistically and be honest. It, it is what it is. That's the case. You're, you're kind of skirting the question I'm asking. You. The other, I guess the other answer would be, I mean, on a more practical level, was at least I would not be putting any victimless criminals in that facility. I still Make haven't sure. answered the question I asked you. And that is, how would I make it secure? 
No, correct? how would you keep security practices? Because you want unlimited filming to be able to surprise job, drop into the jail, and it seems like that's possibly an unreasonable request. How would I maintain security yeah, procedures? Like okay, so show you that generally. The federal government's not going to show you everything, and I understand you don't necessarily like them. That's your opinion. Everybody has one. You may not like local government, but in, in the end, the military's not going to show you everything they do. Uh, Era 51's not going to show you everything they do. And, and uh, there's certain things that have to be kept secure so we can keep people safe. And but again, that's the, a reasonable thing. You haven't answered that yet. Oh, yeah. How, how would I, uh, another way would be de decentralization. First of all, you guys are. Still haven't answered the question. I'm you trying to. <laughs> You're kind of leading it out to political agendas, uh -huh. and that's fine because I have a little, a limited amount of time, and I'm trying to be patient and address you. But what you're doing is you're kind of hook and loop and baiting me in when I ask you a simple question. If you want to tour the jail and you want to film some parts of it, I'm sure that can be arranged in certain ways. We don't have anything to hide from you. But the problem is, is you're trying to bait me into answering the question that you can't answer yourself. Well, I've been so, trying to. I've given you three different I'm answers. Let me try to give you. Ask you. How do we keep security with someone filming certain things that we don't want to get into them? And because you're probably not a bad man, but guess what? They're out there. So uh, how do we keep that safe without getting into their hands? A, a third. Not allowing you to see what you want. Uh, to I guess a fourth answer to your question that I'll try to deliver. I haven't gotten one yet. Well, I'm trying to deliver one that maybe you'll like Not better. Well. I don't know if you will, but the f a fourth option would be uh, to um, uh, to make it so that it's more market based, so that jailing, so there's like two two or three competing. You, you haven't answered anything about security, sir. Oh, again, uh, I think we're done. All right, all right, appreciate you. Have a nice day. I don't you think you back, do on that sheriff? part, but I do That's appreciate okay. the answers. Sweet. All right. Have a nice day, Come folks. Back, talk to the sheriff if you want to when he's done the meeting. All right. Take care. strict know your customer requirements, high Bitcoin, BTC fees, or hidden costs. There's a better way to turn your crypto into fiat and vice versa. Local.bitcoin.com. Their private peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin cash marketplace accepts any kind of mainstream payment service. They've also got a referral program. Get your link set up today. Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, Local.bitcoin.com is your spot.